Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, April 17th. Happy Easter. Today I want to look at uh, testing an HF antenna and a transmission line. And I'm going to use a new instrument, which I just got, called the Nano VNA. So here's my buddy pole antenna, and I'm going to measure the uh, VSWR and the buddy pole. Right now I've disconnected the uh, RG58 transmission line. And the first thing I'm going to do before I test the antenna is I'm going to put on a 50 ohm termination and test the transmission line. So I'm going to put that on now. So the uh, termination is on the transmission line. The transmission line goes into the apartment wall there. Let's go inside here. So here's my rig here, the K2. I'll be using the K2 with the uh, with the buddy pole. I have a Drake TR4C here, but it's a bit too much power for the buddy pole. So. The transmission line comes out here, and um, there's the uh, Nano VNA. Now, when you get the Nano VNA, you have to calibrate it. Uh, there are lots of videos on YouTube, um, some really, really good videos uh, how to use the VNA. So I won't go into that. But essentially, when you get the instrument, it's got three terminations. That's a 50 ohm termination. You got uh, that's the open circuit there, and that's the short circuit. So you do three three calibrations when you get the instrument. You put the open, the short, and the fifty, and you're using this first port here, port uh, one. Uh, this is the uh, port you use if you're testing a device. It's a, like a two port network, but we're only using the uh, port facing the source. So um, right now I've got it set up uh, for one division, uh, one. SWR one, two, three, four, uh, one on each division, and I'm sweeping from one megahertz to 30 megahertz. So let's put the transmission line on and see how it looks. So that's um, that's our result there. I'll take a screen capture uh, from the instrument and put it on my blog post so you can see a better picture. The antenna comes to a BNC connector, and I've got a BNC to SMA adapter to go into the VNA. And uh, you can see in the bottom trace here, that's the VSWR of just the cable. And it's typically 1.054, a little bit of a, a bump in there, but as well, that's well below, um, let's say two. So 1.054 is pretty good. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the antenna, take the termination off the transmission line and we'll attach the antenna and see what it looks like. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, now the antenna, the buddy pole has a loading coil and the loading coil has taps on it. So uh, to tune the uh, buddy pole, what you have to do is adjust the taps. And right now we can see that that's the um, resonant point there of the antenna. Let's just move the, um, the cursor over here. There's a cursor. Okay, so I found the marker now. So the marker is showing that the resonant point right now is um, 12.6 megahertz and the SWR is 3.2 which is not particularly good. I don't have the counterpoise on the antenna so I'm going to go and attach the counterpoise which are a series of wires that attach to the ground of the antenna. The antenna is also sitting on a metal beam which is not uh, the best type of mounting. Okay, so I'm outside so it's kind of a poor ground let's see uh, what kind of a difference that makes the winds blowing this all over the place now you can see that's a big difference so the uh, BSWR has come down or the SWR has come down now uh, quite a bit to about 2.5 at 12.6 so we can see the counterpoise makes a difference and if this antenna was mounted outside over proper earth instead of on a concrete uh, floor with a steel beam we'd have a much better performance anyways this just shows you the usefulness of this instrument I just got it about a week ago so I'm playing with it so I'm still a, kind of a novice using it but it's when I think back to how I used to measure stuff way back when uh, we used to have a huge signal generator with a metal directional coupler and a scope and that's how we used to measure uh, uh, SWR so you'd need uh, we had a Siston Donner generator and a huge tech scope 
and uh, you'd need a long AC cord to get to wherever the antenna was. So it was a very complicated setup with a lot of equipment and very heavy. And this thing is a little handheld unit. It's, it's quite incredible.